Right, so we're just having a little gamble before we have to go in a few hours. Um, Peacock Princess in the Bellagio has opened the door for us. Is any big balls going to roll through it? There's already 110, I think, there already. Yeah. <clears throat> Anything at all? Another mini for another 10? Come on, the big balls. Come on, let's have a big one. Keep it going. Come on, one more. Just one more. It's a five, but you know. Come on, one more. Yeah, it's not gonna do it. It's a decent bonus. Respectable. Thirty win. We uh, we've certainly had a, 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 a bit of success on the, the five bets, uh, the, the five dollar Dragon Link bets towards the end of the trip. I don't think we were really uh, brave enough to, to do them at the start. Although we did try one night, yeah, and we just lost everything quickly. But nice to see them finally come good, eh? So we've got the peacocks, but we've got it on the 50 cent bet. So we thought we'd show the variety. That was third 50 cent bet. Yeah, actually we've just had two holding spins on the 50 cent bet that we didn't film. And then I said, actually, we should probably film them. Show the difference. Come on, we want the big ball in the middle. Come on the ball. Ah, not getting anything so far. Ooh, the miners going through there. Wow. Come on, give me something. Oh, there's the ball. $2.50. It was a biggie on the outside. But this annoys me, right? I'm yeah, because it is, yeah. Because that's taken up nine squares. And the least that you can have is 50 cents in each one of those squares. Yeah. So that should be at least 450. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, it, it does, it does take me. up all the space, doesn't it? It annoys me. Oh, well. Oh, a 25 and a 10 I mini. I don't know what I was about. Wow, they're two big balls for this 50 cent bet. Come on, keep it up. Another fiver. Where was this on our low rolling day? Come on, hit. This was about when you got it. Come on. I'm not sure it's uh, got anything else for us. Yes. Ooh, now it gets interesting. Imagine this on a 50 cent bet. Come on. Come on, ball. I know. Come on, hit it, hit. Ah. Pretty screen, though. I've got a boy driving for 250. I know. That's a nice win, a really nice win on a 50 cents. Yeah. See what the last one can do. Any retriggers? Oh, yeah, the wild. 51.80. Great. So like a hundred times, isn't it? 100 X win. Yeah, it would have been 500. 18. I know. <laughs> right. So the good news is that we've got it on the five dollar bet, and there's. 220 there already. Yep. The bad news is that there aren't many gaps still to fill for an even bigger one. Come on, the big. But maybe we're just being greasy there. Wait, Let's wait, see. Wait, wait. Five, many. That's another sort of 15. They go really quick, don't yeah. they? There's only two spins. <laughs> It's always a funny one because you like the game and you like waiting for the ball to hit and you like the possibility. You like the possibility, but at the same time you've got like it's, 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 it's two hundred dollars that you know that you get. Yep, two hundred thirty-five. Nearly doubles our money. Excellent. Yeah. We're still. We'll just say no. We still just want that. Maybe we're getting greedy. Yeah. But we just want that last, that one last big ball. 
before we go home. Okay, so we're in the Bellagio and I've just found the crazy chickens. Thank you. <laughs> just a couple of people that uh, watch our channel just sat beside us there. So anyway, I found crazy chickens in the Bellagio as well as Park MGM. They're not looking very tall at the moment, but hopefully they'll build up. And what it is, I've got $25 free play, which was off um, my Konami. Um, so it's the 25 Konami free play, basically. We thought we would do just a bit of... Um, What's it called? Like live slot play. It's not live, but you know what I mean. We're not going to just show the bonus. We're going to take you through my twenty-five dollars uh, free play and see what we get. Yeah, basically. Well, but I'm see, only doing. See, well, see how fast you can lose it. Yeah. Um, at the minute, you've got our we've got our tea to win. That won't make a yeah. difference, will it? Nope. Okay. So it does say I've got twenty-five free play active down there. So let's see. I'm going to do seventy-five cent bets. So we are looking for the eggs with the um, numbers in to build up these little chickens. <laughs> Look at the eyes! I love their eyes. That's because you. Oh. That's because you've got extremely similar shifty eyes. I have a. The uh, cows block the jacks there. Eh? Right, well, I'm not getting much now. It's doing that noise every time because obviously it's free play. Well, this so time, 30 cents I like so the far. Kind of a, a, a disco background of yes. the wilds and the cows. Oh, uh, come on, give us something. I know the chickens are small, but they can build up quite quick. They did yesterday, didn't they? It's not a visual representation. I know, I know. Sorry, that noise is really annoying. Right, I've got 19 left. There's some flowers. You would think 56 cents. One? Oh, that's no, got to be good. I mean, I don't know how good that symbol is, but that's good. Oh, I love it. It's a, that was basically one square away from a, a perfect Oh, what happened there? That's nice, isn't it? On 75 cents. Keep going. Woohoo! I love these crazy chickens. It's so me. Well, we were going to look for an old red fire link or a, um, a little shop. And then the chickens just caught my eye, and I was like, nah, I've got to do it on the chickens. It's still going. It's still going. So, Rossi, we want to get this at 325. In the machine, that way you'll have turned your free plate into the real money, money, right? Well, I'm a better, better of a firm. Come, Come on. on. That is such a good hit. Woohoo! 90 yeah. What a line hit that is! Wow. Right, come on, chickens. Right. Ooh, the grill a bit. I just managed to catch them. It's hard to vlog this and play. Would you want me to film it? For you yes, vlog please. It? That's better. Oh, just wait. hang on while we switch the room. I'll try and get as central as I can. Never let it be said that I'm not helpful and I'm not exactly. a real gentleman. Exactly. Come on, we want another nice hit like that one. Oh, I thought he was going to go there. My arm's hurting. Already? Yeah. <laughs> we're only used to filming bonuses. Hello. <laughs> what? Not growing. Not growing. Ah. Right, I've got 10.75 free play left. When your arm lasts that long. Oh, oh, oh I've never it's shaking. Seen this. I've never seen this. Go on. Are both of them going? going go? yes! Both of them going. Jackpots and instant win. Right. Now we've never seen instant win in action. Well, I'm hugely confused. This doesn't normally happen. Instant win, jackpots feature press play. It's like, oh, it's Oh, it's 
the big screen. The big jackpot and the instant win yep. thing. Come on. So, so that's the grand. So that goes up there. And you've got to collect six of them for the grand, three for the mini, and the rest in between. So we can do with an instant win one. Obviously these reset it all as well. Come on. Actually running out of room. Instant win. So we've got that instant win at all. But we're running out of space for eggs where we trigger, that's the problem. And it's a big problem. Because we're not going to get a chance to actually get any of them. Instant win. Once you've collected them, they should go, so free up the space. I agree, yeah. We're going to run out of spins, basically. That was the last one. Ah. That is so disappointing. Yeah. It was just the space, we yeah. got too many eggs in one go really. Too many eggs in the, the, the one basket, <laughs> exactly. you could say. <laughs> that was disappointing. I mean, it's a $10 win. But hey look, you, you've turned your free play into real money. I have, yeah, hey! Yeah, no. maybe you just need one of those features at a time, I don't know. Yeah, maybe the two was fixed. But it was exciting with the shaky. It was. Oh, $15. One chick at a time, please. Calm your chickens down. It, it is one. Of, I mean, we we spoke on the kind of a podcast about games that lack character and personality these days, and just they're all along the same theme. No one could say that this game lacks personality. No. Go on, go on. Is he going to go? <coughs> Pardon me. Well, well he held two bonuses in one bit of bravery. Now let's see if this one's a little bit better by itself. Right, come on, we'd like the major, please. God, my arms really three. hurt. Major, please. The major's 503. Right, give us a progressive mini. So the mini's 10, it goes up there, Top but we one. need three of those grapes and that red band. Need some land on the top. Ah, major, but no. Oh, you still get it anyway. I thought you would need a thing to get it. Lindsay's really not with it. She's very tired. I know, I am, to be fair. I'm really tired. One pumpkin. Come on. That resets it to three, but we need some more of these on the top. Random major. And. Well, well, but there's uh, not many spaces again now. Three for the grand. <laughs> Nine. Oh, fill up the space. We're going to run out of uh, spins again. Major. Two more for the major. Two for the major. Come on. One for the mini now with ten. I'll just give you a quick. Only one spin left, though. Come on. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's something as well to do with the uh, a lower bet level. Yeah. There's only betting 75 cents. Hey, that's three wins I've had uh -huh. on that line on two bonuses. Wow. So how much have I got left? I've got 475 left. Ooh. Another good line, eh? Wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> oh, I thought he was gone. I've turned it into 44 then so far. Because we're on 300, are not we? Go on. Listen, if you ever needed proof that the pots or the piles or the, or the fire crackers or whatever it is is not a visual representation of its likeliness to go, then this just cite this vlog, yeah. this video. I've got one dollar. So to last, last spin. Oh, Ooh, lots of nines. Right. So basically turned it into 45. I've got 25 cent left, so I'll play it. Okay. 50 cent in two hours. Right, so yeah, 40, 25 into 45. Yeah, That's not bad at all. 
Oh. And I had loads of fun. <laughs> So Lindsay, do you like this one better or the fish one? Well the fish one tortures you more, so probably the fish, but I am loving this. Cool. Excellent. Fun game I must say. So we are playing Crazy Chickens again in Bellagio. I love this game. Um, so we're playing 150 bet, um, one cent denom, and we've hit the instant win feature. Michael, you're spinning? Michael got this. So we've got 20 already from so that we egg. Can win up there. Do we so win if, that yeah, space? if we get the instant win up there, we'll win it. So we need them in that little. So it's gone in the dollar one, unfortunately. Come on. So we win all of this, but we can win it twice. like twice if you get the instant wins. But you do need more eggs, otherwise, you're going to run out of spins. There's some more eggs. So four dollars so far. Come on, instant wins. Oh, An instant win in that middle column would be lovely now. Go on. Oh, it's in the one that's got no eggs. No, no, it's still there. Though, look. It's still there. I know, but it's got no eggs still. Are they? Three fifty. Come on, give us more instant wins. Yes. It's another six dollars. We've only got one spin remaining though. Another egg, another egg, another egg. Ah. Oh, it's a good win though. That 20 balls, uh, the biggie, isn't it? Oh, really? it's like 57 on a 150 bag. Yeah, and you've only done like three spins or something. But it just shows because that green one was really little and it just went up like one, two, three, four, five, and then even when it got the top, it like poked the little stick, didn't it? And it went all the way up. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. You're just a winner winner, there's no chicken dinner. I love this. Lovely win. Right, so leprechauns. Everybody loves a leprechaun, right? Um, it is said that there are 236 leprechauns currently living in Ireland. <laughs> and a place called, I think it's called Sleeve Boy. a lot of performance over nothing really wasn't it um, so anyway <laughs> yeah a kind of hillside in, in, in like Ireland called Sleeve Foy a man I think it was back in the 1980s 1989 I think claimed that he'd found a tiny little unicorn outfit and a little pouch with four gold coins in it four mysterious gold coins in it which he then put up on the uh, uh, a, a display in his pub. Right. Um, years later, the gold coins went missing and they were eventually found. And another man, this was after the first man had died, another man returns the coins to where they were found. Right. Now he claims that a unicorn, a unicorn? A leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> that took a turn I yeah. wasn't expecting. That a, a leprechaun then revealed himself to him and told him fanciful tales about how leprechauns need humans to exist and there used to be millions of them and now there aren't and he was now being assigned as what they described as the unicorn unicorn what is with you now what the unicorn unicorns and just to confirm unicorns are not involved in this story this story at all right 
forget unicorns. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why Lindsay keeps on mentioning unicorns. We're anyway, so tired. That's the thing. anyway, he claims that he's he was assigned to be the leprechaun whisperer. And um, anyway, this this leprechaun who appeared to him told him that there were two hundred and thirty six leprechauns living in the little wow. community, and they're the only ones left. Um, completely unrelated, and it may cast a little doubt over the uh, credibility of the kind of story. The man who claims all of this now runs a leprechaun hunting business, which <laughs> really? attracts uh, school children from all over uh, uh, like Ireland, and, have made, and has made him an extremely rich man. But I'm sure that's completely uh, unrelated. Sure. Unre cause, because after all, you know, leprechauns, <laughs> We're literally delirious because, at this point. As we know, leprechauns bestow wealth. Oh come on, I've heard about it here. Oh dear. <laughs> so that's the story of the leprechauns, not the unicorns. You can tell it's day 17 in Vegas, Listen, can't you? I don't recall saying unicorns. Nobody said unicorns. <laughs> Oh, well, he hasn't yet. I think he's laughing at us, to be honest with you. <laughs> so right, so, well, yeah. I would have been it's going to be the lucky in there. Yeah. I kind of see where this has gone. Actually, I don't think it is. Five free games. Have we ever had the free games on this? Do we watch the free games? What happens in the free games? Are the unicorns in it? I just don't know. Well, nothing by the looks of it. Nothing happens in the free games. Nothing. Oh, I wish I got the lucky thing. Ooh. That's going to be the... Oh, hey. Oh, look at the dancing. And we learned a lot about unicorns. About leprechauns. I learned quite a bit about unicorns. I don't recall saying unicorns. <laughs> anyway, that's your last fact of the trip. Yes. Yeah. Sixteen of them. Yeah, but you can now have a rest from the facts. I'm now going to live with them. Yes. But you know, I was kind. I didn't. I, 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 I mostly didn't use ones that Lindsay already knew. I mean, she knew nothing about unicorns. <laughs> Right, so the last fucking 50 of the trip. No pressure, Lindsay, but it all rests on you. Yep. All rests on these next eight, six dollar spins on uh, Locket Ling Rich's Eureka Treasure Train. Okay, now, okay. We play this quite a lot, but we've never really bet up on it. We always bet little, don't we? So, let's see how quickly it goes. Obviously, you know what we're looking for. Nearly. Oh. So obviously you need six of those and all three, three of those. Oh. Not one of each. The sugar puff is the wild. Oh, oh. two. <laughs> So I've got three, well, fucking fifty is ending in a very fitting fashion. Two spins. If, if I don't get a line here, yeah. two spins left. Last spin. Last spin, yeah. Donkeys. Right, I can do a three dollar bet. Just do a three dollar. Go on then. Ooh, another three dollar bet. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? Go on. Go on. Well. 
not as successful Fucker 50s. Farewell to the Fucker 50s. Yes, but it will be back. Oh, it'll always be back. It'll always be back. We're basically going to keep on doing it until it makes us so rich we don't have to anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the plan. Cue the music for the last time this trip. We're having our last gamble of the trip on Dragon Cash in Flamingo. We get picked up in about an hour. So we've got a hold and spin on 10 cent, $5 bet. It's not great at the moment. How much about 70? 70, yeah. So we'll see if we'll get any nice biggies. We'd love a wordy. Come on, Timmy. Come on, keep us going. Make it nice and big. Give it a fond farewell to the Flamingo. Come on. A mini would be lovely, a mini's a hundred. Come on balls, come on the balls. One. Keep us in, yes. Yeah, where's the mini right. party? Where's the wordy, the wordy, wordies? Come on. One more ball, one more ball, one more ball. Oh, I thought it was gonna do it there. Well, it's not too bad actually. Respectable, Certainly the big balls haven't been around the last two days, have they? But you know, when you get, when you've had the three days like we had, where we had quite a lot of them, I suppose you can't complain. It would just be nice to have a nice farewell one, wouldn't it? Bum, bada, bum, bada, bum, bada, bum, bum. Right, so we're getting picked up in about half an hour to go to the airport. Um, the lovely Georges from uh, JMC Limousine is picking us up and taking us back. Um, actually, that was a lovely way to arrive, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It Just... really, really was. <laughs> but I always, what I learned on this trip with that was that there's a difference between arriving in Vegas and just getting to Vegas. And that was definitely arriving yeah. in Vegas. I would recommend it seriously. I mean, we always just taxi from the airport. Mm -hmm. That's what we always do. And we walk out and then we walk to the very top of the air terminal and then we stand in the queue and we get the taxi. And it's no problem. I mean, we'd rather do that than faff with Ubers and go upstairs and queue and get everybody out. But that's just what we do. Um, but obviously, the lovely George picked us up this time. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, you, we got went through the thing, went, he saw the sign and literally it was right outside the vehicle, yeah. wasn't it? It was and just, it was, it was a treat. It was, and I don't think it took any longer, even though it took us the long way around down yeah. the kind of strip. Because you're not walking as much, and because you're not waiting around as much. And queuing. Um, in a queue, and actually, there wasn't any difference no. time-wise. But it, it was really special. But anyway, we have, we talked about that anyway, but uh, he is coming to take us back to the airport, which is really nice of him, so we're very grateful. Mm -hmm. And I know quite a few people have said, uh, been in touch with us and told us that they've now booked him. So that's great. It's, it, I'm sure you will have a brilliant time. We loved it. We were knackered when we arrived. We were shattered. You know how it is. Both flights delayed. We just wanted you to sort of get in, check in, get your room, and then, you know, do some Vegas in, in your last hour, that <laughs> two hours, that you've got a week but that that Brumman limousine ride we were partying mm. <laughs> when we got to the hotel we were like Whoa! right we're out for hours now we just changed this completely but anyway yeah so that's happening in half an hour so we don't usually have um a bit of time really we're kind of rushing around a little bit because we always leave it till the last minute but today we've got a little bit extra time so oh, you say that i've still not packed i know so you know yeah your stuff's just over there in the right mess but anyway i have although i can't get my case shut <laughs> so that'll be interesting uh but we thought we'd just do a little wrap up um obviously we've got our beautiful view behind us of caesars and the bellagio and we thought you'd rather probably, I mean, you're looking at us, but you'd still get to look at them as well. Which I is don't know looking at us. No, no. <laughs> Better than our wallpaper at home, though, mm. isn't it? Or city or whatever. Anyway, just a quick roundup, really. Um, before we um, go into any detail, what we are going to do is we're going to do a full kind of retrospective review of our uh, trip on our next podcast. Yeah. Um, so any kind of questions you've got, get them into us on social media. Yeah. We're happy to address them. 
yeah we thought that was the best because then we're not time restrictive and whatever else we can just babble on for as much as we want and go into all the detail so um look out for our next podcast anyway so you can get the full the full um overview but for now it was just really to talk about generals i mean we've stayed at four hotels even though two of them were double booked so we didn't effectively move our suitcase mm. four times um so we stayed at new york new york thoughts on that lovely i've got i've loved new, new york new york probably my favorite uh, hotel on the strip yeah we love doubt, it yeah. i think it's the it's the location it's the vibe it's the amount of food options it's the bars we just everything about it the, the rooms i mean the room wasn't massive but we had that lovely view of the sphere um and it just did the trick didn't it mm. it was it was just nice we, we love it's it's just a proper we we just like being based there. It's, it's a home from home now. Yeah, New York, New York, it's probably. also quite telling that when we've stayed elsewhere, we still go keep going back across yeah. for drinks and eats over there. It just shows how much we like it. Anyway, next was the plaza. Yeah, I mean, I've, you know my my views on it. Never got a bad word to say about them. Yeah, love them. And obviously this time we got a suite. It's the first time we we have had a suite before, but I think it was like a mini suite last time. Um, mm. and this time was a a. a you know a nice suite and it was right at the front overlooking as you saw uh, stadium swim in fremont street we loved it didn't we yeah. and to be fair we were like we could get used to this <laughs> having a separate living area and a separate mm -hmm. bedroom we were saying actually we could we could work here for a few weeks mm -hmm. we could get we could quite enjoy ourselves oh, here do that. i know i am doing that i feel like <laughs> we should be doing that i know but yeah we loved it and we we just love the plaza anyway it's it just uh, again it's our home down on uh downtown and we love downtown i know some people are still a bit mm, about it but we love it i can't imagine a vegas trip without a good at least two or three nights yeah in, like downtown definitely can't, i just can't imagine it you know it wouldn't be the same for me at all no uh next hotel was the flamingo which is where we are now uh, we booked this last uh, October. We got obviously a front face of view this mm. time with the view. Great view. And then it's just the flamingo, you know. Yeah, there's, there's not much that you can say about it, to be honest. It's fine. It's, it's not, there's nothing special about it. There's nothing particularly bad about it. It's just fine. It gets such know? a bad reputation, but we've, we've never had anything bad to say about yeah. it. We, we get straight into the room. We've obviously, both times we've stayed, we've had spectacular views. A uh, huge big windows. Yeah. Uh, the bed, the, the room is just very basic, very standard. It, it's but... a maid service every day as well, and a yeah. lot of Caesars aren't. Uh, a lot yeah. of Caesars, you've got to ask for them now. Just nothing. I'll just like I say, nothing to write home about about it. Oh, I've got a fact about that. Maybe for next time. <laughs> um, but um, it's 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 certainly nothing bad either. No, it's, it's great. Yeah. It's, it's and obviously, stuff. you're right in the centre strip, so you can get most places um, north and south from here quite mm. quickly. And uh, MGM Grand. Now, MGM Grand was a surprise to us. So we, anybody who's watched our vlogs, going right back to 2020, we were sat mm -hmm. at the Cosmo balcony saying, we just can't get away with MGM Grand. We just can't get away with it. We never gamble in there. We always feel like it's more like a big walkway. We can't get the grips with it. It's too big. It's too awkwardly shaped. We never had a good vibe from it. So the only reason we booked it, um, MGM Grand, and we double booked it with Flamingo, was because it was offering us a suite and we thought mm. that'd be nice and because we when we arrived it was february and obviously now it's march it meant that if we went back to an mgm property in march we got the double of the resort credit and double yeah. the the free play yeah we basically get one for a february and then one for March as well. And we get resort freeze waived, mm. so there was there was no cost. So we were like, well, why wouldn't we do it? We mm. can try out a suite, even if we just vlogged it and then never stayed there, and then um, you know saw what it was like. That was the unexpected star of the, of the whole series. I mean, obviously, I was the expected star of the whole mm. series, but that the MGM Grands was <laughs> was the unexpected star. It really was. I mean, we obviously we showed the room. It was beautiful, and it was, the, you know, it was immaculate. Really, the room, and it was it was lovely the way it was set out. Again, the windows, the view, uh, the bathroom was beautiful, wasn't the bed? Yeah. Huge things. I was so comfortable. Um, I probably slept best there out of, mm -hmm. out of all the rooms we slept in. Um, so yeah, it was really unexpected. Um, so yeah, in terms of hotel rooms, I think that's probably covered most of it. Mm -hmm. What about gambling? The gambling was rubbish for the most part. I mean, that, we're not going to pretend we've had a good gambling trip because we haven't. Um, it's not been a disaster, mainly because of those three nights from my birthday and then the next two nights afterwards where we obviously won the kind of major, uh, two, two majors in like, in like, like two nights. Um, 
that's that was the saving grace. It was. Without that, it would have been a disaster. We'd be going home with nothing. We're not actually going home with a, a decent chunk now. Yeah. I mean, we we literally, obviously, you know, we, we put our daily budgets in every day and we spend that and then we have our do not touch cheese, which is what we take home, no matter what. And that was empty the whole trip until four nights ago. Yeah. So we, we were, until four nights ago, we were not taking back a penny. And we also have our try not to touch cheese, which is what we, it's like our slush fund that we use if we need it on a day. And we must have, we dipped into that on day three, I think, mm. because we were already like, we've, we've got no money, all our daily budget had gone. So we dipped into it, and then we dipped into it again, and then it ended up where there was nothing in the try not to touch cheese. Then it got replenished, then it got mm. emptied, then it kept, it was all, just like that. All I would say about, the gambling and then i think you, you you'll watch the vlogs and think that we've had a really good like gambling trip because there has been some good wins the problem with it is that for the most part all of those wins were in isolation we could never get on a run yeah of good wins and that's the, yeah that's just the way that it goes sometimes you know i mean um this trip has been a fairly poor a, a gambling trip maybe the next one's a really good one yeah, you just you just take the rough with the kind of smooth, don't you? But you know, we've had fun doing it. That's yeah, the, and the, that's the important bit. The thing is, people say I think sometimes if you have like a two hundred win or a hundred and fifty win, people say, "Why don't you just take it out?" That's it. But we're here. We we yeah. love gambling. We love slot play. We love getting bonuses. We're so if we just you know went to a first machine, got one hundred and fifty bonus, and took that out. Then the rest of the day we're going to be like, well, we want to play yeah. on the machines. What we're going to... So you, I mean, you don't have to go wild with it, but you're gonna, you're gonna put it through again, and you're gonna kind of see what you get. Anyway, we luckily, thankfully, it was actually MGM Grand that was not only the best in terms of the room or the the, the yeah. plus, it actually came through in the gambling. Well, we only stayed there for two nights. Yeah. And, and we got a major each night, so yeah, you know, you can't really grumble at that, can you? That's no. that's kind of ideal, but. But yeah, there was those. I would say those three nights, the night before as well, yeah. my birthday, yeah. as well. Um, they were absolutely great. The gambling nights, yeah. superb. Um, in terms of new things, just roughly, we obviously did uh, Font and Blue for the first time. Loved with, it there. Yeah. Loved it. With uh, I'm just looking. We're turning into silhouettes now because it's getting dark outside. Mm. You can just see our shadows. <laughs> um, Fontainebleau, we really loved. Obviously, Mother Wolf, we absolutely mm. adored. F uh, food was fantastic. Yeah, make sure that you ask for Giorgio. Yeah. If you go there, um, just say that you saw them on our vlog. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm sure that he'll look after you. Yeah, as he's he did us. Oh, we we got his whole life history and his yeah. family. He was he was so funny. Really oh, honestly, I would say about about Giorgio will probably enhance the experience yeah. a, a, a little bit, uh, quite a lot. Actually, but the food, so. was the food was spectacular. Well. Yeah. yeah, we did um, flights, the darts place for the first time. Mm -hmm. Now I didn't know this. One of somebody who's on our Facebook page told me that apparently that all over. Like they're they're in the UK, they're in like Manchester and London and Leeds and Edinburgh. Oh. I had I had no idea. I've never seen them before until here. There isn't one in our area, unfortunately. No. But we loved it because it's not only just you know you might think oh I'm rubbish at darts. You don't have to be good at darts. I mean I mean I'm pretty good at I mean, darts, he, Michael. And even <laughs> Lindsay won four of them. <laughs> so you know. I mean. But they do like funny games like Donkey Derby or the Killer or. Um, there was just ones with uh, snakes and ladders, so there's like fun games where you have to hit certain numbers, and then you can try and kill your opponent by hitting their number. It's f it's like fun. It's not just standing doing darts for like an hour and a half. So, and there's I'll... really good drink service as well while you're at yeah. the hockey and all that kind of thing. So you know, I, I love doing that. That was great. Mm. We finally tried foundation room. Did we? Yes. Yes, we, we did, did for your good. birthday. Yeah, that was good. And the view was beautiful. Michael Jackson and... won. We've been yeah. wanting to do that. Oh, but we've completely got. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Maybe we need to sit forward a bit. Ooh, look, it's the. I don't know if it's the light here. Look at that. <laughs> I've never looked better. To be honest, <laughs> we look like you know. I think that this is a sign that we're going to wrap it up. You know what? No, but you know, in Crime Watch, when somebody doesn't want to be identified. <laughs> that looks like us. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. Anyway, the other thing was Michael Jackson one that we did, which we loved, didn't we? Mm absolutely spectacular would highly recommend that right so we are going to wrap it up now before we disappear entirely that is so funny you sit forward a minute <laughs> sorry i just think this is funny i've never looked better i don't care what anyone says <laughs> right anyway uh thank you so much to everybody for all of your views In a silhouette for my head is massive <laughs> is it always that big yeah. 
Uh, thank you for everybody who's watched along. I know it's quite intense because we put them out every night. That's just the way we have to do it because if we do it yeah. at home, we wouldn't do it. So um, who's watched along and commented and liked and s done stuff on social, got in touch with us. New subscribers, old subscribers, new page followers, um, new, members, new members, old members. Just everybody, yeah. you enhance, you know, we do this, we put it out. Everybody that we've met as well. Yes, we met, you know. obviously we did our fantastic group poll, a mm. lovely, lovely group. And then we also did a couple of meetups after that. Well, we, we yeah. did one organised meetup and then after that we've just been meeting people daily every day, haven't we? Someone's come and said hello. Um, so just thank you to everybody who joins along the journey with us and makes us laugh and comments on it and points things out to us that you know mm. it, it's just it, it does it just enhances it and and it makes it more fun for us doesn't it yes so anyway before we disappear entirely which i feel like we already have kind of we, we uh, probably should have put a light on you told us to turn the light off because it would spoil the view not only the, the bathroom one <laughs> we probably should have put a light on anyway i just think this is funny this is very us mm. it's very amateur it's, 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 it's completely not the hapless is what it is it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna turn on the light and redo it. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna put. Oh it yeah, on. we're putting it out like this. Mm -hmm. This is just what you see is what you get. Uh, so again, thank you so much. We are just about to head to the airport, like we see. So um, if we can find it, <laughs> if we can find the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to trip over something as soon as I press stop, I'm sure. Uh, thanks so much for everybody joining in, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. We don't know when it is, we'll let you know. Yes. But I know the road is long I wonder if you could use some company I'm headed out that way So what I'm trying here to say Is I wouldn't mind if you came along with me Nice.